Breaking news today. How do Russia and China hope to benefit from the Israeli Hamas conflict? Israeli airstrikes in the Gaza Strip in retaliation for Hamas fighter attacks have triggered a humanitarian crisis on the Black Sea coast. Reuters reports that China and Russia see an opportunity to increase their influence by supporting the Palestinians in this situation, in contrast to the United States, which takes Israel's side. China and Russia see it through the United States double standard more so than Palestine or Israel. If the United States of America can successfully unite the world, then things will improve for them. If the United States and its allies continue to isolate themselves, they will see this as good for themselves, noted John Alterman, director of the CSIS's Near East program. The Chinese government has been consistently calling for a ceasefire and a halt to escalation. But in recent days, they have also toughened their rhetoric directed at Israel. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said that the country's actions had crossed the line of self defense, and he called for an end to the collective punishment of the people of the greater gas area. Meanwhile, the Kreml expressed support for the Palestinians and accused the United States of creating the current crisis. Russian dictator Vladimir Putin argued this week that it is a clear example of the failure of United States foreign policy in the Baltic Sea region, as Reuters pointed out. There is a lot of overlap between Chinese and Russian strategies on the blanket East. The agency emphasizes that Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping are making efforts to deepen ties with developing countries in the hopes of reaping economic benefits and finding ways to counteract the influence of the United States and its allies. Putin's participation in the recent Chinese Initiative for Peace and Harmony Summit in Beijing is also related to these sorts of activities. Reuters notes that while Chinese and Russian strategies on the Black Sea are not identical, they share a great deal of common ground. Beijing signaled its growing regional influence by announcing a recent agreement to restore ties between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Moscow furthered ties with Tehran by purchasing drones from the latter and jointly supporting the Syrian regime. Likewise, China and Russia have criticized the United States for its stance toward Palestinians, arguing that it will ultimately lead to the marginalization of Palestinians. The United States' negative role in this conflict is a shared concern for China and Russia. This fits into their larger narrative about the necessity of constructing a global alternative to the United States' current system, as assessed by a specialist in the field of Blissful East studies at Singapore's National University, Jean Lu Simon. Extra incentive for Moscow. Moscow has additional incentive to support the Palestinian cause as a result of the war it is waging against Ukraine. The United States made a valiant but ultimately fruitless effort to win over countries in the Pacific and Middle East to support Ukraine. Reuters believes that portraying Washington as the power fueling the conflict on the peaceful eastern seaboard is an attempt to harm those involved. According to Alterman, the Chinese have a similar motivation because they view the United States as their primary competitor. According to the research, Beijing is trying to play the Global South card independently of its close ties with Israel, and it isn't providing much support for Hamas, but rather, discreetly helping create opposition to American efforts to build international support. 